Hey guys, it's Pauline. I am here with um, a pocket letter. Um, I had got a request for a pocket letter and so um, she and I decided to do it and um, here is what I came up with and um, so it's my first one. So here we go. Um, she, the person that I'm trading with um, said that she likes shabby chic and vintage and metal so I thought I did my best on it so I thought shabby chic and um, vintage and metal and lace and so I was thinking that kind of sounds like um, Tim Holtz but then again it kind of sounds like Martha Stewart it's like if uh, there's like a cross between the two of them. So this is what I came up with. Um, <clears throat> I used to be in the Tim Holtz a long time ago. So I have a little, I, I, mean, I used to like the grunge look, but then I kind of like, um, I don't know, moved away from that. And now I'm like on the total opposite end of the spectrum. So I do have a few things from um, Tim Holtz. So hopefully this came out the way um, she would like. So anyway, um, this paper, mm, gosh, where did I get that paper? Oh, that was, I think, that was a Studio Calico. Um, yeah, I actually got that one from a, um, from a D-Stash from Kate Kennedy. So anyway, that was the paper pad. It was, uh, I think it was a card kit for her but she um you know they stashed a bunch of the um six by sixes so anyway that's where that paper came from it was a studio calico one and then that um uh, stamp right there i was um kind of glad to be able to use that stamp i loved the stamp but it had never used it yet so um i got to use that and i used this and I use the sending and happy mail I love that script I think that that is so pretty I love it so anyway um I did use that on that and then that dress form right here um I bought that a while ago from um from paper tray inks and never used it and I thought that that would be a cute way to put my washi and I put a couple of more samples of washi on the back and so and then this is um, that Teresa Collins um, Studio Gold I think that was the name of the line and then the little bows I got from here I forgot who had this I don't know if this was uh, Michael's or Joanne's um, this was like a couple of years ago so um, I they had a bunch of those um, already tied up in in there and then that's some ribbon that I used later on something else but um, so that's that and then in the back well I'll just show you the back later and then this is my um, um, where is that? Um, that oh, there it is. The sweet stamp shop uh, stamp set. I love that little stamp. It was one of her little mini stamps. If someone tells you that you have enough, and then I put the word stamps, but I actually ran out of little room, so it just says stamp. But hopefully she knows what I'm talking about. Stop talking to them. You don't need that kind of negativity in your life. I love that little stamp. So I was um psyched to be able to kind of use it and then I put a little um another little stamp mini stamp set in the back and hopefully she doesn't have that stamp set already and then I know that she um I thought that this would be kind of um you know metal and vintage kind of thing 
because they're frying pans you can't really see it on this side but when she flips it over they're they're frying pans and i know she does she has like a, a dollhouse i don't know if she wants to use it as an embellishment or she can use it in her dollhouse but they're cute little frying pans so anyway i got that from my roads um i think somebody had it on sale i think simon said stamp they were getting rid of um a lot of stuff a couple of months ago so anyway i got that and then that was a my road um um mustache and i thought it went cute with the um with the cards which incidentally i <laughs> i changed my whole direction because i was um going to let's see i had cut out some papers i was going in a whole different direction and then decided to go with these cards um artist trading cards i got this from hobby lobby um a clearance run a few months ago i don't know what i did with the um, ones that i cut out already but i had um i had all my papers all cut out and they were nowhere near this color scheme they were like um light pinks and really bright happy springtime colors and they still would have i think they would have fit her like um vintagey um romance kind of that's what i think of that kind of stuff especially with the lace but anyway i completely changed it um because i thought that these cards went a little better so anyway um let's see and then this I thought that this would be a kind of neat way to put at my sequins instead of just dumping them in there and putting a um, piece of washi tape over it. What I did was I took this. This is from um, Diamond Dyes. Um, I think it's Diamond with a D I E M O N D. So anyway, um, <clears throat> I used that and. Um, I cut that out of vellum and so she can still use the sequins that she just you know what I did was I put them together and I glued it all around except for the top so that way she can open it and pour it out and use it wherever she wants and I thought that that might be a cute way to um, um, just present that so anyway because I had, this was the color scheme I was going for. I had already um, cut these out. And so this would be a way to go ahead and still give them to her. And still kind of match the theme. Because she's got a um, mason jar. So the mason jars make a little sense. So anyway, I I think so. So, and then this, of course, is part of that... Um, Teresa Collins Studio Gold line which I actually had to break it to get it out of there yeah so because they, they wouldn't come out they were stuck so anyway um, that's that and then let's see more um, all of these cards came from this and so I just stuck that little hello on there and then I got some more um with veneers in the bag. Oh and this little uh leopard gold print I got from my Simon Says Stamp um card kit. And so I thought that kind of would look like a I thought it would kind of look like a dress. <laughs> or I thought it would be cute anyway. So anyway, uh, moving on. So, um, I, this is the Sweet Stamp Shop. That is that little stamp. And that little stamp was nice because it was nice and detailed. So, what I did on that was I used my, um, um, Tim Holtz embossing ink. Because it's really sticky. And so, I stamped it and then I used this glitter. And it's really shiny glitter. I love that glitter. And I um and I got it out of here. And so um I used that glitter. <clears throat> and then so it won't get everywhere. I finally used this because I'd never used it before. 
it's a spray on glitter sealer so i did that oh and then that's that stamp there i tried to at first i tried to um use the stays on gold i wanted to see if that was gonna look good it didn't so it was a good thing i tried it on some scratch paper first it came out all orangey which i i might not have um you know you have to put your own you, you have to um put the ink on there yourself and so um that might have been user error on that so anyway um i st stamped that on there and then I sealed it and you can still see a little glue residue but I don't think it looks bad uh, I don't mind the glue residue I'd rather have that than um, the glitter get all everywhere and so I, I put a little um, um, flat back whatever that is <laughs> can't think today and um, I like that little corner I think that came out pretty good and then this was some washi tape from Joann's it's not sticking all that well, but I'm going to go with it. Um, so anyway, and then we can come to this one. This is where I use the Simon Says Stamp again. And then that little postmark kind of thing. I got that from, this was um, a Michael stamp like some months ago, maybe even a year ago. But they had this whole vintage romantic line. So anyway, and it's it actually says vintage on there so anyway that was a stamp from out of there and um and then this was a joann's oh it's an example of what the um the gold looked like now that looks more orange than gold because i i thought maybe i uh stamp it on some Vellum at first, and that didn't work out at all. So, um, but that's what that came from. That was a Joann's, um, they got rid of this line like a year ago or so. And, uh, that was the wood veneer I used and the flat bag gems that I used. But that's what I did on that. Both of these things came from, um, this. And so, and then a little washi tape to keep it closed. And then we'll look at the back. Alright, that is a stamp set. That's a highly swap stamp set. And I have a, that was an extra one. So, but I thought it would go good with this. Because it's a, like a male. You know, I got like, um, sending happy mail on there. And so, oh, sorry guys. <laughs> the tripod got tired, I guess. Oops. All right. So, um, so let's see. All right, there, there we are. And so, I thought that that would be cute. So anyway, I gave her that. And then these are some um, chipboard, um, just some tags, and then more of my favorite washi. Um, the camera, and then that's just. A black washing. I thought that would be cute. And more of those My Road um, paper clips. And then those are the jars that you saw. And then um, some wood veneers. And then this is just some um, Prima flowers. I think if you're going to do vintage and lace and all that, you have to do, um, you have to include some flowers. So I got this. I think this was from Michael's. Um, a while back. I think they got rid of all of these. But um, that and I threw some of those in there. And then um, the rest of those, some jet, I just put up some, she said something about pearls, so I put pearls on there. And then this is just a label holder. It's from Close to My Heart. It fit. It's metal. So I thought I'd throw that in there. So hopefully this fits her style. You know, it's my first one, but I think it came out pretty, pretty cute. And um, so that's it for that. And so um, I think I'll just show you guys 
a couple more things uh and then we'll call this one done i got a couple of um these stashes um and I usually don't show them these stashes because, you know, you can't go and get that. But these um, stamps are all still in production. So I thought maybe I'd share that. And I paid, I think I paid $5 for that one. And I had been wanting that one mainly for the road because we don't do camping. It, like, I don't understand. I mean, you guys do that camping stuff, but uh, just drop me off at a, a Hampton Inn, you know. I got enough of being outside so anyway but um I thought that that was really really cute anyway so um I had been wanting that one but I wouldn't get it because all I would really I mean I might use the car with the little puffs I don't know but the main image I wouldn't even use so anyway um so I got that and this one was ten dollars I think I I can't remember who I got this from, but um, I'm definitely going to be needing this because uh, his birthday is in May, so it says turning, and then he'll be eight, and so I I like that. So I got that one, and then this one I thought was really really cute, the sentiment uh, set. So I got that one. It had never been used, and I only paid ten dollars for it. So I thought that. I really like that top sentiment. Um, tears are the words the heart cannot say. I love that. So, um, and then Mama Elephant. I think everything they do is just awesome. And but I don't have a whole lot of Mama Elephant stamps because they're a little pricey. So um, I was happy to get that one. And then Claudine Helmet. I like that one mainly because of this, but um, I like the little bug and I th I like every image on there, but I think I mainly got it for that one. And this was only five dollars, so I got that. All right, I think that it will be all for this one. I'll talk to you guys later. Oh well, I guess I'll show you the um, card kit that I used the paper out of. So this was a, a Simon Says card kit. Um, I think this was last month. This was a rub on, really cute. And then, um, gold, gold, gold. You know, at first, when that gold first came out, I didn't like it at all. But now, you know, of course, it's just kind of rubbing on you because it's everywhere. It's kind of like that song on the radio that you hate at first, but then they kept they keep playing it until uh, it's not so bad, <laughs> and then you find yourself humming it. So. I, that's what the gold thing is like for me but anyway um i like that washi tape right there it's um kind of look like it's I, I know it's not holographic but it kind of looks like it it's cute i really like that one and then this was their stamp set which again um i i love birthday stamp sets so i'm happy to get that one I know I'm going to use that on some project life. <laughs> and then, that's it. They gave you some cardstock. I'm not going to waste your time with that. I love how they also, they always give you an inspiration sheet. So, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Alright, bye.